So the eight runners beginning to walk in steadily now in the home straight, the one mile five furlong starting point. And starting team of Stuart Turner and Seamus O'Neill about to dispatch them for this Countryside Alliance charity race. The flags are raised thanks to Roy Thorne's solicitors for their generous support of this race. And away they go. And they get away to a fairly decent break as well with powerful symbol in the pale colours. Sam Butler in the saddle for Ben Pauling. One of the first to show up as they make a very sedate progress up the straight first time. Just over one complete circuit ahead of them. Landsman in the blue and white is going handy under Morris McCarthy. And towards the near side, Cracking Destiny and Tony Williams with the uh, white sleeves. And one or two of these just wanting to go a, a stride or two quicker than their respective riders are allowing. Multi-talented has tugged his way up into second in the dark blue and yellow. Uh, taking a firm grip, Stephanie Germany with a tight hold of his head as they go into the first turn. So Landsman moving through to take the advantage. Two multi-talented. Top billing cutting the corner. Red count for Paul Conway saving ground right around the inner as they travel up the side of the course. Powerful symbol who jumped off in front in a pink jacket drifts back to track the leading line into the back straight. Cracking destiny at this stage is still caught fairly wide. And Angel Gabriel down on the inner and the Marwan Kukas silks, the Grand Bay stars, Sharon Morris aboard for Patrick Morris, uh, just a length off the lead. The other end of the field, Health is being held up by Hugh Hutchinson Smith in the green and yellow, and there'll be six or seven lengths covering the field as they move towards the midpoint in the back straight, the grey Alley's Rock. Uh, held up off the gallop as well by Emma Ogle. And now the field just begins to string out a little as the two up ahead uh, just begin to rather take each other on a little. Landsman racing on the far side of Angel Gabriel. They're two or three lengths in advance of Cracking Destiny with a yellow cap and then the keen going multi-talented. There's another break of uh, six or seven lengths to Powerful Symbol in turn being followed by the grey Alley's Rock and then Top Billing who's towards the back of the field with Health. They've gone through hard halfway and they're about to leave the back straight behind them. So Landsman and Morris McCarthy in the blue and white with Angel Gabriel and Sharon Morris against the fence. Two lengths up on Cracking Destiny. Tony Williams just being to bridge the gap on the leading pair as they head now inside the final three quarters of a mile. Multi-talented who pulled very hard early for Stephanie Germany, still holding on to fourth in the dark blue and yellow. Uh, the grey Alice Rock under Emma Ogle is beginning to close down the leaders a little, being given a very patient ride, but is now making some inroads into the deficit as they come inside the last half mile and swing for home. Landsman in the centre of line of three with Cracking Destiny uh, coming wide into the straight, tracking over towards the near side running rail on the extreme left. Out on the right is Angel Gabriel, three or four lengths away then to multi-talented. Alley's Rock having made headway has come under pressure back in fifth, but is in turn well clear of powerful symbol top billing and health uh, remains last. Cracking Destiny fairly smoothly has taken over here, running on down inside the last quarter a mile and has begun to open up going some five or six lengths clear of Angel Gabriel and Landsman who forced the pace for a long way but they're now scrapping it out surely for minor honours only because with 200 yards to cover Cracking Destiny and Tony Williams are simply drawing further and further clear being punched out to make sure Cracking Destiny drawing right away Tony Williams can celebrate as Cracking Destiny takes this emphatically might still be quite close for second but in the end Lands and fills out second place ahead of Angel Gabriel and the rest still coming. The result of our charity race is first, number two, Cracking Destiny, ridden by Tony Williams. Second, number eight. Third, number seven. And the fourth placed horse, number five. So the full result of the Countryside Alliance charity race, sponsored by Roythorn Solicitors. First, number two, Cracking Destiny. Second, number eight, Landsman. Third, number seven, Angel Gabriel. And the fourth placed horse, number five, multi-talented.
last half mile and swing for home. Landsman in the centre of line of three with Cracking Destiny uh, coming wide into the straight, tracking over towards the near side running rail on the extreme left. Out on the right is Angel Gabriel, three or four lengths away then to multi-talented. Ali's Rock having made headway has come under pressure back in fifth, but is in turn well clear of powerful symbol top billing and health uh, remains last. Cracking Destiny fairly smoothly has taken over here, running on down inside the last quarter mile and has begun to open up going some five or six lengths clear of Angel Gabriel and Landsman who forced the pace for a long way but they're now scrapping it out surely for minor honours only because with 200 yards to cover, Cracking Destiny and Tony Williams are simply drawing further and further clear, being punched out to make sure Cracking Destiny drawing right away, Tony Williams can celebrate as Cracking Destiny takes this emphatically. Might still be quite close for second but in the end Lands and fills out second place ahead of Angel Gabriel. Clear of powerful symbol, top billing and health uh, remains last. Cracking Destiny fairly smoothly has taken over here, running on down inside the last quarter mile and has begun to open up going some five or six lengths clear of Angel Gabriel and Landsman who forced the pace for a long way but they're now scrapping it out surely for minor honours only because with 200 yards to cover Cracking Destiny and Tony Williams are simply drawing further and further clear being punched out to make sure Cracking Destiny drawing right away Tony Williams can celebrate as Cracking Destiny takes this emphatically might still be quite close. Pretty talented for Stephanie Germany was fourth. We've got a magnum of champagne for the winning owner and jockey. And every single jockey riding in the race receives champagne. Everyone a winner as well. And we've also got the best turned out award judged by our sponsors. And that went to number eight, Landsman. That was judged by, on behalf of Roy Thorne.